Jim Tappel and I are co-teaching this MOOC, and to be quite honest with you, we make somewhat of an odd couple. Drew comes from a background of marketing. I come from a background of engineering. Every CEO, every uh, leader in a company already knows that innovation is it's important. What they lack is the how. Most of the time when we take classes, it's about knowing about something, the know what. And really this class is focused on the know how. How do you apply the particular skills? Innovation is not a, a gift that you're born with. It's a skill that anybody can learn. Design thinking really has three parts. First is the empathy for the user and really the understanding of what the problem really is. The second part is the creative or the diverging process where multiple solutions are looked at. And then the third is really the analytical or the converging process where those alternatives are brought together. We plan to pull in guest speakers from a variety of industries. We expect to have people from the food industry, from, uh, from uh, consumer packaged goods, as well as services like GE, Johnson & Johnson, Procter & Gamble, and it's that variety of voices from the guest speakers that I think is going to make the participants in this MOOC really understand and taste it. We think the MOOC structure enhances the student experience in a number of ways, primarily because we're giving content in a variety of formats. What we're trying to do with the MOOC is to really break up the traditional classroom. And what we want to do here is essentially bombard the student with many different learning styles, many different learning techniques and, and uh, delivering content in ways that allows them to learn in a variety of ways, assimilating it all so that they get, walking out of this MOOC, the skills they need to apply creativity techniques and design thinking techniques. I think the student experience is going to be enhanced by having an online class. They're going to be doing more things on their own, but more importantly, more things at their own pace and their own speed.